Praise the Lord. So, 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 tell me that your skill upon drew in the favor yeah. onto you or that thing that you know how to do very well. Yes. Any other thing. Can favor be bad? We talked about last week. There are just some favors that they are bait. Can favor be bad? Or all favors you receive so far it benefits you? Must be good. Let me see online. Okay, sister Okoyemi is saying favor is an unplanned grace. Might not even merit at all. Yes, you don't even toil hard to get. Come suddenly, what you don't even toil hard to get, and it comes suddenly. That that is favor. That's one of the contributions online. Can favor be bad? Can it be a bad thing sometimes? Or people cannot be bad? Sir, uh, I think people yes, sir. Is, must be always be good. Must always be good. Yes. And can you get good for Because what what is like a how would I put it? It's like something you desire. A desire, yeah, like a, a, a needed is present. Yeah. Okay. So as unexpected came. Okay. okay. So, so it, 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 for fact that um, is something pleasing to you. Yes. So it won't be good. All right. That's what he said. Any opinion? Yes. Yes, Pastor Sam. I think not every favor is uh, is good because favor is more like an open door. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, and uh, if uh, favors are open, not every open door is by God. And there are some open door that can be from this guy. He yeah, initially will look very rosy, very pleasant, but at the end of the day, it may not be what you want, and it may not be what God for you. So, there are mm -hmm. some favors that are not. And not so good. Yeah, not okay. every favor is. Not every favor is not good. Okay, but yes. if it is not good, you can call people. It won't be called favor. If it's not good, it's it not good. good. It's yeah. different no, favor kind of simply means an act of kindness or a good gesture being released. It means somebody cannot be kind for with an ulterior motive. If you have received this kindness, it's uh, something. Is. I better put up your spoon. Put up, put up, put up. Put up. Yes. Is it every pastor Sam said that no song? You wanted to say something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly what I was thinking about. If you are going to call it favor, it has to look good. So the, 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 the only yeah. thing is that the, the intent of who may be the giver or the receiver. So that it has to look good. If somebody came here and he's laughing, you can't say it's favor. Yeah, but it must look good to me. So when it look good, look good to me, in that example, uh, yes, it can it could be a bit. But if I have a discernment to look at, this uh, girl, this uh, academic, so, and I'm a young girl, I think maybe it's time to hear. So just I think, but uh, therefore I think it should it should be look good to us, appear good to everybody before we say ah, it's safe for. That's my thing. It's so uh, you said. For example, you say you are a, you are a young girl, yes. and somebody is giving you maybe uh, two hundred thousand, and you are designing spirit that this thing, but you receive it. No, I won't. If I if I want if I want money, if I do not, it's good. 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 It's Really, 
If you don't yeah, collect, you if you are be that, if I collect, there is no so, one. Yes, I'll not give you stamps. It's better not. Now, hold on. But if I told that after clearing, and you find out that, you know, truly, eh, some people, they can just be sincerely, they want to help you out. But just that because of the situation around this time around, people think about anything one wants, wants to do, there must be negative aspect of it. It's not true. At times, people sincerely, they want to really help you out for something. So, somebody can have a good intention of actually reducing favor. You may be misinterpreting yes. as bad, yes. suspecting, maybe based on what you have gone through or yes. something. Yes. Okay. Fast Praise the Lord. Yes. 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 Are there some favors that are better not received because you are not qualified? to undo it yet. I give an example. I like you. And there's a particular position that is open. I know you are not too qualified for it. I know you may not be able to undo it, but it's a plus because your your income we you, 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 you need a job. I know you need a job. But I also know somehow that you can't undo that job effectively but at least after you'll be getting job now you'll be getting at least you know that I give you I got some favors that are best not received because one is not qualified for it or the fact that it has come of of favor and favor it's too waiting too waiting out I that's one of such things that you know some people they have actually been given some position. Uh, they, they love it, but don't let this is it. I don't. I said, I'm being very funny. What, what's wrong with this person? But I, I can't. Um, I don't want. Ah, uh, it is a big position. You, uh, I know myself. I don't. I just some favors that one can, you know, stylishly avoid. That's why I say it's a two-way thing. Yes, there are some favor like that. You can just decide to let go. But there are some that you not let go. Because I believe there is still room for improvement in everything you want. I, I strongly believe there is a room for everything you want. You understand? For improvement. Whatever to anybody. This time. Um, for example, if you are being given, I know that if you are being given a particular post, you know you are not qualified for it. I believe that the person giving you is just based on, you know, like sentiments, not even thinking about your qualification and ability. But then, for you, the receiver, there is two things concerning that me I'm looking at. One, if you know that you can really do it. But it's not really okay. Because at times, truly, you might do some things. It's only when they give you the particular thing that you even know whether you can be able to do or not. If you are not giving a particular thing, you might not really know whether you can handle it or not. It's only the Holy Spirit helping you out. If you're a child of God, I believe just like opportunity. You understand? Opportunity coming to you, there is room for improvement. You can do something. You understand. But then, for the person giving you, it might be that just giving you out of sentiment, without you know thinking about the other side of it, that truly you might fumble. You understand, and it not be okay towards that side. But in another side, you—that's why I say it's too easy. You might collect it, and God will help you. You miss it once. You do better. You might you collect. Move. Yes. Can you move? Yeah. Oh, you might collect it. You might then, you know. You. So she said that it is a uh, yes. two-way thing. It's not that. I think you are saying it depends. Yeah. That's the word. It depends. Okay. You want to say something? Yes. Do you mean? You are talking I about favor. Yeah. Favor. Good, bad. Are there some favor that are best not received? 
And another question I will now, I will now give is that if you give favor and I won't say rejected, I don't want to use that extreme word, or what is turned down. How should you feel? That's another question. Like, uh, we, we, we begin to talk about it. For me, I don't think any for the feeling for I will reject. There is no favor you will reject. No, because uh, the mask, you know, who's the last one? Like now, they ask me that uh, I come to be maybe a state pastor, senior pastor here, when you are a pastor. Nobody could do that. No, no, I know it's you. So I can't take that kind of favor. But uh, as Christian, you know what happened to us because we are born again? Humility. So we have, uh, it's too much for me. And almost all that are called of God have always made excuses. But God made up for their insufficiency. So I can do all things. So if you that, I know that uh, it could. I can do all things. Do right and say to me. So they can, uh, they can only, they can't tell you come and be president of Nigeria. Because it's not in my head. Hey, that's not in your head. That's not in your head. It's not that I am not able, but I can't even do that. It's not that you are not able, but you cannot. I will take that. <laughs> All right, no, well, let me let me read what we have on that before Monrabi will take his point. Um, Sister Ari, let's celebrate her. Favor should normally be good, but when there is an ulterior motive involved, it can be bad. Then Sister Hoppy Dam, Sister Pay, me say that favor most time is positive. But the world has a lot of people with wicked intentions. Some people could favor for personal evil intention, but paint it as beautiful as it may. It just cause grace and discernment that can help in situations like that. Also, um, Atkinson, yeah, Tina, mommy, Atkinson, I'm celebrating, celebrating, celebrating. Favor that has an ulterior motive is a bad one. And our sister is in the house online. Naomi, Amanda, Naomi, Ogala, celebrating too. One can stylishly avoid only if they are aware of their present capacity to handle such a favor. One needs to be truthful. That is the one that position. They say that you can avoid it when you are aware of your capacity to handle it or not to handle it. One should be truthful to themselves in such regard so as not to mess up such opportunities. And our pastor, as usual, is in the house. Pastor Oye Odiaka, Good morning, Pastor Talks and everyone. There is something about favor I would like to mention. Favor is not seen from the point of view of the giver. As the name implies, it is favor and the recipient makes it so because the person does not deserve it, has not worked for it, so didn't earn it. The giver may have ulterior motives, but it's not the receiver's business <laughs> because he didn't solicit it in any form. And he still continues, the giver may not necessarily want to give it, but was impressed on it so there is no need to scrutinize favor before accepting accepting because it wasn't enhanced by any means please the lord i know some people may have uh, divergence opinion yes uh, my i don't want to ask the question okay. uh, it's in two ways when we say favor can we call these two scenarios favor like, uh, for example, pastor says, I, I come to pastor that I need a certain amount of money. And he, he tells me no, but tells me to walk into a room. 
knowing that in that room he had mentioned my name to give me something he had heard it that he had mentioned my name and he is uh, pushing me into that light to collect the money i i get the not having the mind that the faith pastor did not favor me but at the end of the day i realized that that was favor for me for giving me that information that is one scenario so that means that we are going to say that about favors monetary alone or no no i'm just i'm just i'm just trying i'm I'm just asking no i'm trying to pass like uh, i'm asking like the person might have want to favor someone and might not want to directly favor the person and uh, the person expect the receiver expecting that, from that, that, that uh, want to get favor not knowing that it has been quoted in another in another yeah. form can that also be called favor that is one the second question is now the person wants to favor no does not want to favor the person as as an ulterior motive about it and everything turns around to favor that person like the situation where um, you 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 want someone, you want to give the person something, but you need something in return, and the person is not bent on, uh, I, I can't give it to you, I can't give it to you, pushes the person, not knowing that he or she is pushing the person to a particular point where the person will get double of that favor. Okay, you go and walk in that place. While walking, meet someone that pays double of that, of that I don't know if... Um, so that's now. I, think I, I think I get what you are trying to say that if somebody has an ulterior motive in trying to favor somebody, but at the end of the day, it did not work that way. Mm-hmm. But the fact that the person has been pushed into a particular setting, the person has received favor, is that favor from this person or God just set up that person? Favor? Can, can favor be set up? That is the second question. The yeah. first question can also favor be disguised? Can be, can right. be in Praise the Lord. Yes, answer to this question before I say now. Anybody that wants to answer that question, okay. yes, please try. Okay, I think uh, in the first one that uh, he said if he approaches a pastor, he can pastor, he can give money. It and could be anybody he said. Yeah, and, then, and then he said uh, they don't have the money, but yeah. push you to somewhere and then you receive the money from there. Mm-hmm. Now, okay. Yeah, I, I think uh, favor, just like this, is not always from the first person. Now, somebody can give you an idea or an insight that can lead to favor. So if probably you approach me for something and I say, I don't have it, but okay, meet this person going to give you. It's the same thing. It's because you have favor with so me. So who favor you that you pointed me to the person? Or the person that gave me the thing. No, the it's, person it's, that referred. The, yeah, but the, the, the one that favor. Yeah. Yes, sir. All of the person that I gave. If, me. if he did not favor, if he did not refer, you wouldn't know that person. So, so uh, but both of them are favor. Uh, yes, both of them favor. Okay. So th- that means that the person that gave to you is doing that favor because of because this of person. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I think that is that. Alright. God bless you. Yes. Sir. I want to answer the second one. You say. If uh, the person doesn't have uh, a good motive, doesn't know, but God turns it around. You know what? Uh, what I want to say about that is that it's God that is searching for our hearts and knowing everything. For the person having interior motive to help you out, to do something, you understand. In, in, in that person's mind, the person doesn't want to be really happy with it, just understand, <laughs> want to show that he or she wants to do that. Or you have another bad thing in mind. Go in there and then you now receive the favor. <coughs> it's just God. Say I've happened since two seven or five six. God has sized the heart and then decided, oh, this is what you want to do to my son or my daughter. I will still use that way to do it. It's not like, you know, at times it's God that they people talk to touch people to do something to somebody. It's the same God that searched our heart that we know that this person doesn't have a good distinct. But still, I want to help this person. I will still use through you. I will still help that person. That's what God is. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Just like Joseph and the brother. 
if I get your question very well, I think I will look at it as favor. Because favor is also seen as a show of kindness. I'll give you a scenario of what happened. I was counseling a young lady. We got to the main middle of the counseling. She needed money. In my own mindset, the first question I ask is, do you have a job? She said, you have a job. You need money. I wouldn't be doing her a favor if I give her the money as a loan. Whether what I suggested, which is also a kind of showing, because favor is also showing kindness, is I have someone who his company is looking for staff. Go there, tell the person you are from me. It's favor. The person did come to me with the intention of I know I'll, I'll get the money from you. But rather than giving the person a fish, I rather show the person how to fish. It's favor. What, 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 what I'm saying is, the person doesn't know that you are really helping the person get the main favor. It does not the really matter. Is it, it, see, the, the main thing is sometimes, like you said, the second question, favor can be deceptive. It can come in wraps of either bad or good. You understand what I'm saying? So, if it comes rather than that, it's now left for you to see that way or not to see that way. But deep down within me, I know I have shown you favor. It's the same thing with God. I will give you a scenario of what the Bible, the Bible said, come on my people, I'm showing you life and death. It gave them the option of choosing, but it gave them another favor option, favorable option of what to choose the leftover is for them i can give you a million naira and you don't see it as a favor you don't see it as me helping you sometimes we look at favor has been helped and then you just wonder it just like my dad said he said something when i was very young he said a naira giving at the time of urgent need is greater than a billion giving when it is not needed. Do <laughs> when I don't need it, just give me first. <laughs> I'll keep it. I'll keep it in the time I need Praise the Lord. So we are talking about favor. Favor, what is favor? Can favor be good or bad? And we have been having, and he asked a question that can favor be directly giving? Uh, or indirectly giving that when he's indirectly giving the person that you are feeling may not even be aware does the person need to be aware to say thank you to you that's another thing and if a person can you do favor in a good death way that the person never even there are some people that have recommended some people they don't know who they who recommended them some people have received some job they are just thinking that but somebody was instrumental but the person just kept crying, and he told them, the person, they never knew who recommended them. But the person just did it, just, you know. So, in that kind of, let me read one here, in that kind of situation, are there some people that you should do and not allow the person to know? Yes. You should not allow the person to know. I mean, the person is fighting you tomorrow. No, <laughs> yeah. that means if you don't want the person to know, you don't want that. Like, a, a lot of people have different understanding. You might not want the person to know in order for the person not to worship you. If you have an understanding that a favor you did for someone was because God has laid it in your hand to do, and you don't want to take the place of God in that favor, or if God has spoken to you, not to take his glory, but do this thing. So you can decide not to let the person know. So that the person will not come and worship. Yes, and be worshiping you. Or you know you can you can let somebody not know. You no, know, some people they give some people things so that people you know even know that they have that capacity because they don't trust that everybody will not be abusing it. Yes, 
you are you giving it through <laughs> other uh, people. There are some people that can come to a pastor now. There are some people that have come to me that help me to give so, so, so person. I am ah, why not do that? The pastor please help me. The person will not just know. So things like that, some people do that. Let me, before um, I crack up things. Um, I want to read online now. Sister Kwemi saying that favor is not only monetary, it could come in being via referral, direct connection, that at the end of it, the person gets sorted out. Sister Harris is saying that I think favor can be set up. Just like the example of Brother Lande gave, referring him to that place where he received favor, it's also favor that has been set up. Um, Sister Harris is also saying we have head of people who may not have it within their capacity to show favor, but can show you a path to favor. Is that one also favor? Yes, yes. They can show you a path to favor. Or someone to come in contact with that will favor you at the end of the day. This is set up favor. It's a, a favor is not only money, why? It could come, okay, just to. Then Pastor Ian is saying that, Pastor, I want to ask, I want to ask, please. Is there any example of bad favor in the Bible? It means favor cannot be bad or connote any negatives. Is there any example of bad favor in the Bible? Neymar that went to collect money. It's not me, he's asking you. He's asking you. If you are using Naman as an example, that man's not favor. He went to ask. Yes. The man's favor is um, um, of that, or the uh, prophet he was serving under. And the prophet rejected it. He went after to ask. He asked. It's not a, it's rigid. That's not the favor. So what I want to say is this. Favor, if it is favor from God, and it's real favor, it no, can no, never no, be bad. Yeah, you are putting from God. You already made it possible. Sir, no, no what I mean is, somebody cannot help you without God putting it in the heart of the person. If you are asking God to favor you, God will Use any devil can favor you, sir. No, I'm asking now. I don't know. God can use them. God can use them to favor you. He can do what devil wants to do to turn evil to you to favor you. Okay. God bless you. Yes, okay. You will come. Yes, first of all. Like uh, he said, okay, hey, he's asking whether I've seen example in the Bible. Mm -hmm. What of uh, what of King David? You know, Uriah was a faithful soldier. He called for, uh, Uriah for battle. Uriah was so faithful. He said, no, go and see which one. Go and go and he would be like faithful to Uriah, but he wasn't. Go and relax. Go and enjoy with your wife. And he would be different. Different faithful. That's not faithful. I know. That's how it was. Like no, like no, 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 this kind of favor is normally so normally it's not that he's giving him favor. But the man says that no, I want to fight. I want to go to battle. What is saying? No, hold it now. Go and relax. Before you ask me the question, okay. What is your question? Or maybe an explanatory question. I think we will not we, we, we should go back to the real interpretation 
definition of favor. What is the I definition think, of favor? Yeah. In my own view, when you look at it from what we normally say, something you don't merit. Yes. However, that's not the end. Praise something Lord, you don't Lord. merit that but you that, need. That, that is Bible definition. And that's a, I, I'm still coming. Sir. That is what we say. Yes. That is now the Bible definition. Religious definition. Yes. Yeah. Favor simply means an act of kindness or uh, being released. It that, 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 that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Still, so I'm that saying. is the simple definition of favor. You know, when we are believers, we will not be adding. Mm, yeah, that's mm, what I'm, that's what exactly what I'm going. Mean, what is favor? Yes. English language. Yes. yes. Exactly what I'm Let saying. Right. Exactly what I'm saying. I said that is not the end. Whether you show faith, whether you show kindness or what, what makes it favor is when that person actually needs what you are giving. That's that is what it, that is that is my own application of favor. If the person does not need it, you are just giving it for free. You are not giving faith because it is the recipient that makes it a favor. You are giving when the person needs. So when you don't, when you give and it's not meeting the need, you are not showing me favor. You are showing me favor when what you are giving meets Your need. my need. At that, point, yeah. At that point, you are giving. That is the end point that justifies. That's when I can now say, wow, I have found favor. You are not the one that is giving that will say you have shown me favor. I am the recipient. I am the one that can interpret that, yes, I have obtained favor. So, you, so the person that is actually giving favor may not tell whether he's giving favor. Sure. It is well. <laughs> <laughs> because David was telling me people said, I will show you favor. Mm. Well, no problem. Yes. Uh, you won't talk. I want to say something. I talk now. Before you say you want to read something, oh, yeah. so I'm not even answering this one. People are answering. Oh, yeah. I want you to say before you read what they are. Doing. Okay, can you remember? I'll be done for that. You talked about can somebody give you understand without letting somebody know. Yeah. And they mentioned some things that I want to add to that. Something that can help you that can cause such. And when you have studied that person that you want to give that thing to, mm. and the person is this kind of person that is somehow shy and doesn't like you understand, so okay, the exposure, oh, no. yeah, and the person that feels, you know, asking somebody something, they feel somehow there are some people like that. Mm. They don't know how to ask, and even when they are even in need of that. So if you have studied that kind of person, you know, you might not want to go direct to the person to give. You can go through another to reach out to that oh, exactly. person, you know. There are some people really, they because when they see even at tomorrow, for you giving them that thing, they will just be, you understand, feeling, maybe it's a problem on it when they see you. So when you have studied that person, you might just do indirect way of yeah, forming the person. God bless you. Yes, ma'am. Mommy, you were trying to mommy first. Because yes. yeah. mommy came before our other mommy. Yes. So the class, would you answer first? Thank God yes. they are all mommy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So what I, I want to ask you is, uh, what is the definition of favor? Yeah. 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 I'm thinking about that. Can it be classified under favor? Parental love to children going extra mile. Is solving their problem, does it fall under favor? So, mommy is asking us that you, as a parent, you have a duty, yes. but yes. when you now go up the extra mile, are you favoring yes. your child or well, you should not consider that right. one as favor? She's asking yes. us, yes. 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 anybody can answer that. I think it's favor. Just like what? Uh, able to do your responsibility. Yeah. 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 So yeah. 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 go the extra. Yeah, yeah. yeah. go the extra. Like uh, is the, the the issue of uh, Esau and Jacob. Uh, uh, right. Yeah. The mother helped Jacob to. Uh, to yeah. Who was that? Yeah. He favored Jacob. He favored. Yeah. He worked. He worked in favor of Jacob. Yes. And then against uh, Esau. Yeah. So I think it's it's favor. When he, I know your children know. Yeah, sometimes I remember children have asked me for who is your favorite child. Mm. Yeah, no, they have asked me the question. I said, I said, all of you are my friends. <laughs> but they can see it when you go beyond. For you want to do something, you do for somebody else. Yes. Uh, yes. And, uh, yeah. and it, the video we suspend is that this my dad like this one, more than this one. So it's, 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 it's,
Additional mm-hmm. one or two months, then they go back. So increment is not. Okay. Is, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and, uh, sir, I, 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 have, I, I have a question. I have a question concerning um, parenting. He brought my attention to children also. That if, for example, now we say it is a recipient that uh, knows that the person is being favored. Students in school, and. Um, the, let's say someone in, in an occultic group sees that he or she needs this and uh, starts giving the person the particular thing he or she needs. We see it as the person receiving it, we see it as favor. But not knowing that is an, there's an evil intention to get to a particular point to initiate them. So we, they should also be very careful, no matter the favor you collect, be very careful not to get something that will in turn hook okay. you down or educate you. Yes. God bless you. He's just trying to tell us that even though we say <coughs> favor is good, favor is good, but we should also be careful that there are some favors that may appear good, 
But at the end of the day, yes, it may not be nice. So, but somebody said that we should pray for design um, spirit, spirit so that we will be able to know which is which. Yes. I want to say something concerning the parenting favor. Um, children to their mother. Number one, all mother, I'm not referring to Christian now, all mother should always put this prayer as they give birth and the children are growing up. That God should always make their children to favor them. You might have children that are rich and they will forget all the labor you have labored for them. And you will be living in a house, a rented apartment, and they will not care, they will not come and look for you. They will increase it. They won't even give you money talk less of increase. So when it comes to your children giving you money, to me, it's not a right, it's a favor. Because if God did not, or if they did not have it in their mind to favor you as a parent, they will never do it. They will never do it. I want to use myself as an example. Then another thing is parents. When our children are there and they need us, we should always also do for them. And whatever you are doing, always make it known to them that you are doing this just for them to become somebody. Because a time will come when they got to that stage, they too will have it in mind that this woman has done it for me. Like, let me use myself as an example. We live in one room, nine children with wife. Then we saw it in my dad that even with that one room, any family that have issue, they come to that one room. My daddy will solve that issue. They live with us. At least three of my cousins from that one room, they traveled out. But growing up, those children, they promised heaven and earth, but they did not repay it back to my dad. So all the children, we grew up knowing my daddy to do it, even when they did not repay. My daddy is still doing. So when it comes to a time when my daddy was down with sickness and it could not work again, at least some of us had grown up. Then the more we try to get a room to make it comfortable and make our dream come to pass, his dream come to pass, it was difficult. Then when I started praying and I joined winners then in Abuja, God opened a channel and I, I, a, a money came in and I said, what will I do with this money? Let me rent. Not even through me. Somebody, a friend of mine that knows about the problem in the family and how my daddy have lived on said, I promise you if I win a contract, I'll give you money to rent three bedrooms back to your father. And really, we prayed about that contract and it won. The first money they paid, he brought it to my house and said, take hundred k rent a house. The day I rented that house for my dad, he was rolling on the floor and praying and crying that so in his lifetime, he can stay in a three bedroom flat. What I'm saying is this, if I did not see my father doing that, I won't see it as a duty and it won't be in my mind to do. So parents should always pray that God make my children to favor me. When the time will come, Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. that is is conflicting. <laughs> what she said that uh, children should favor their their parents. The, what does the Bible say that children should honor their parents because it is their duty to collect it. So it, it is not left for children that don't give their parents. It is I feel the Bible is against it. It is an honor to give your parents whatsoever returns you are making because they've labored on you so, so it's their right it's their right they are full right so if they don't do it it is and she's saying that it's not their right but we need to pray some children don't do it but you need to pray that God to make them so to make them to make them honor me no i don't think it should favor me if i would they favor me <laughs> Honor is this. I can give you money. I can favor you as a child, as a son or a daughter. But I will not honor you outside. You as my parent, my parents, because I'm feeding them, I'm the one doing everything. They might talk outside and I shut them down. Is that honor? It's not honor. Honor is different. Favor is different. So, honor your uh, your parents. It, it does not mean that you should. That honor includes give them money. Mm -hmm. Honor means you can. It, it means you it's can give them money. It's part, it's part of, of it. it. Okay. What if 
I'm doing all these things. I'm giving my parents money and I don't honor them. And I have an occasion. I don't invite my parents. I don't even want to I don't want to be associated with them outside. That means I'm not honoring my parents. I would rather prefer another person to take their place so, than for them to come and take their place. Favor is an aspect of authority. God bless you. So, mommy, mommy has uh, been supporting those. Yes, praise God. I'll be the answer to all of them. You they even want to make me forget. <laughs> 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 but I've decided to hold on to it. Yes. Now there are two things. The last one I want to quickly talk about the parental whatever and give an example recently there was an air crash accident that took a very popular um, evangelist or pastor's wife uh, this is a is this a sweet, you call her his wife and in that accident she had a PA there that was with her and I don't think the game was too far from her. Part of the things that they said, the PA survived that accident. Part of what she did before they went on that uh, whatever, it was, she built a house, something like that, for her parents. And her parents, you know, out of the dirt of their heart, prayed for her. Yes, okay. for the girl. And you see, so it was like she had got into a covenant and uh, it was like a stamp over her. So even when the enemy came, that thing stopped it. And not, another one is uh, Pastor Ashimolo. He said when he got his first break, the person that preached to him, I think he got a house for that person too. And you know, the pastor was so overwhelmed. So when you either your spiritual or physical biological parents, when they pray for you, God has given that covenant in their mouth. It will happen. So the so that one of maybe honoring or whatever or favoritism and all that, it's always very difficult. Because like uh the, the boy tells us that you know. If you have a child that is always doing something or whatever, if you look at all the children of uh, uh, Jacob, Joseph, apart from the fact that his mother was a special wife to the father, Jacob was a child that was, you know, blessed. And he must have been doing certain things that the father loved him and then it took him out. You know, so Joseph uh, go through to this man certain things your children will do. There's no way if somebody is giving you something and the person cares about you, there's no way. You know, it's just that the parents have to apply wisdom so that um, there won't be a gift. Now, the major thing I was trying to talk about was when our brother talked about uh, David and uh, Ryan. And someone was saying, is it bad favor or whatever? And uh, our uncle to a uh, doctor came in. You will see that that favor that David said he was giving, as he said, it wasn't appreciated by Uriah. Uriah didn't need it. But David was trying to use his position as the king. He had the wrong motive. You know, it's like a president sends for you now. Uh -uh. Nobody that the president says, even if we don't agree or we don't like it, if the president sends for you, you will package yourself. You will go there. A king sends for you when they are fighting and you are saying you didn't have people. But because God knew what was in the heart of uh, king. David, he made sure that Uriah too was a stubborn man. He said, I know they go there. Everything that you do. So that was what made the, the plan of David not work. So that favor there was bad. It was um, it had it, it, it was counterproductive. He wanted to use it to cover up for his sins, but God worked against it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me just read online. Let me read online. Um, I don't know whether we should have part three of this. <laughs> Pastor Oye is still talking about favor. Pastor Oye said that we judge favor from our experience, but I think favor should judge our experiences because what favor is is constant 
favor remains favor. If our experiences don't align with it, then it's not favor. The prophet was not favored. It was what he did that necessitated the gift. The prophet was not favored. So he did that in the beginning. It was what he did that necessitated the gift. Then he said, exactly my point, sir. It is favor in the sight of the receiver. Not the giver. So when it has it has connotation so far as the receiver sees it in a different light, that is what matters and makes it favor. So Pastor Oye is also saying that it's from the receiver's point. But the truth is that the receiver can see it from it can be with good intention. But Judah is suspecting and no, but God will help us in Jesus' name. Yeah. Then I think one more contribution. Then we may have part three. We may have part three. Praise the Lord. Uh, yeah. Actually, talking of the renter favor. All right. I remember in the late um, 80s when uh, my mom was visited, uh, came to visit us. Then in my village, it's like she was the first mother that used play to come to Lagos. And, um, and uh, in the early 90s, when uh, my dad took him and visited, I brought him to Lagos. It's also play that I used to bring him. So, you know. I'm sure the prayer they pray for me that time, that probably is the reason that when he seen that every, everything is collapsing around me, you know, one way or the other, I will find it, God will just make a way for me, you know. So it's very, very important when you have an opportunity to so, so honor your parents. All right, to honor your parents. God bless in Jesus' name. Amen. Finally, let me just read what we have online. This is finally now. That is by Sister Arit. Said that I don't think a child blessing his parent with finances is favor. A child who has the fear of God does this out of his understanding of the scripture. Beside your parents labor for you when you were little. So it is expected to reciprocate that love to them. Not necessarily a form of favor. But you know, no appearance. No appearance. No appearance labor like that. And no no all parents sacrifice for their children. There are some parents that they have heard of them dumping their and some other people will not take over. But somehow, somehow, they will not meet together. But we are still expected. It's not easy for you to not see that kind of pain. And you know, it's not easy. Although some people, they struggle, they cry. But they now say, I'm a believer. And I cannot, the way you did to me, I cannot. And they will now start. But some are still struggling with that now. They just decided to cut off from that particular parent or those parents. That if they could do this to him or her, and he has not become very blind now. And so God will help us in the name of Jesus. So we have favor part three because God must favor us. Amen. I said God must favor us. Amen. I want to appreciate all the people that have contributed online. Oh my God, so much of people, so much people. Ah, sister. Peter is also contributing. Let me read our own so that uh, I will not be giving query tomorrow. <laughs> exactly, sir. Giving or doing things for your parents is not doing them favor in any way. It's a duty. 
God will help us in the name of Jesus. All the people that have contributed online, we love you. Mm. And God will continually honor and favor you in the name of Jesus. And the ones that have not contributed, but they have been watching and they have also been there, we love you too. And for you to even connect, we love you. And God will perfect all that concerns you. If this is your first time of coming to the class, we love you. Can you lift up your hand? First time, first time, first time in the class. Let's send you great God bless you. are welcome. We hope to be seeing more of you as long as we have a And on my left here, who stepped into the shoe of Pastor Oke? Okay? In, 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 that, in that church. Can you give us a name? Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm a Samuel, a comedy from God's name. All right. Pastor Sam. Pastor Sam. Not that they are me, but Pastor Sam. God bless you. And God will know you as you keep on joining us. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to give our time in your presence again. And we also appreciate you for giving us insight in diverse ways. It may not be all. We are not all satisfied with some of the things that we have said. But Father, by your spirit, teach us. In the name of Jesus. And more importantly, favors. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen.